Chapter number 160 True Love Dies on Earth, Reborn in Heaven, a very beautiful English story. Once upon time there was a butterfly, it was self-beautified by yellowish golden color. The butterfly was very selfish, cruel and stone-hearted. It was having habit of sucking the fragrantic sweetness of beautiful flowers and also it is terrific that it was destroying them with no kind concern, daily it was destroying many flowers. One fine day in a peaceful morning, the butterfly went in its daily routine i.e. in search of flowers, around a yard of this beautiful earth and suddenly wonderful naturally decorated garden came to its site which was full of greenery. The selfish butterfly felt very happy, entered garden and it started flying around the garden with its bad thoughts and destroying flowers. Unfortunately butterfly saw beautiful pink rose with diamond water droplets on its softy petals and it was looking very innocent and different among all the flowers, butterfly never seen this type of flower in its life and it said itself oh, what gorgeous flower it is, and no more it remained itself and it returned home with unsatisfactory and it was confused and asked itself why I not sucked the fragrantic sweetness of that beautiful flower? And it decided that it must suck the sweetness of flower next morning without fail. Next morning it went to the same garden and sat in front of the flower for the whole day without sucking the sweetness of it again returned home with lot of hunger and thirst and it again decided the same thing and went in front of flower after a while, flower observed its madness and asked, Oh, beautiful butterfly why you are looking me like that, the whole day? The butterfly replied, I don't know why beautiful conversation of butterfly and flower flower said oh cruel butterfly why you are not sucking the fragrantic sweetness of mine and killing me like others you do butterfly oh you beautiful innocent rose i something feel about you i changed my life and i want to become innocent like you flower you have to suck me because i think i will be no more in this dreamland butterfly no i can't and don't force me it went back to home butterfly started its new life with full of humble kindness it left its cruelty and it felt itself that it was in love with that beautiful rose it decided to propose the rose on next morning the beauty and innocentness of rose changed the butterfly's life it means the pure love towards the rose changed its life next morning it was very happy and went meet its lover with full of dreams but sadly someone have plucked the flower crushed and thrown on a floor ground the butterfly saw that heartbreaking moment with full of tears in its eyes and the sky was also dark sky also started crying raining the butterfly sat near the dead body of its lovely rose butterfly cried with full of sorrow and said oh beautiful rose i truly love you very much today i am with full of sorrow with whom I have to share you have slept dead and cold. Oh! Beautiful rose you will be in my heart till the beats of my heart stop oh! Beautiful rose I love you forever and there is no reason in my life for which I should live. With full of tears the tears of butterfly felt on the body of rose. Luckily Rose was having little breath in it slightly opened its eyes with heavy pain it said butterfly. I listened what you told till now. I am very happy though I am in the bed of death. Where you had gone, I am waiting for the death I mourn I love you too. After this the butterfly was full with sorrow and it can't forget Rose which it loved. Day by day it become very ill and lastly it died. And they both butterfly and Rose again met in the heaven and said our love died on earth but re-